On the Danyu Plateau in Togo, villagers still bless newly wed couples by sprinkling rice grains over their heads. They use indigenous African rice, which was domesticated about 3,500 years ago in West Africa. The villagers also continue to appease the souls of their ancestors by offering them this rice. <laughs> African rice is not only an integral part of their culture, but also their preferred food. Once you taste our rice, you will never like any other rice and it stays in your stomach, unlike the modern varieties, the women rice farmers say. <laughs> However, the elderly villagers mourn that their children and grandchildren are no longer interested in growing this rice. African rice, whose scientific name is Orizaglabarima, is unique to Africa. About 450 years ago, the Asian species, O. sativa, was introduced to Africa from Asia and quickly became popular because of its high yield potential. A few African farmers, such as the villagers in the Danyu Plateau, have continued to grow African rice because of its adaptability and its ceremonial and cultural value. These farmers inspired Africa rice scientists to investigate the species and tap into its rich reservoir of genes for resistance to several stresses, including weeds. Africa rice has recently embarked on an ambitious program to improve Oriza glaberima. This will offer farmers varieties that are naturally well armed against African multiple constraints and have acceptable yield potential in rain-fed environments. To achieve this, Africa rice has therefore started with the systematic characterization of its entire Oriza glaberima collections of 2,500 accessions. I'm a